Fords will still be footing the bill for full day kindergarten. Former Premier Allison Redford had promised the province would fund it, but that has yet to happen. Quinn Oler has more on where the government stands now. The dog days of summer mean the Kinsman Spray Park is full of screaming kids. But soon the screams will quiet as children head back to class. Four-year-old Grace starts kindergarten this fall. Well, we decided to do the half days, uh, five days a week. Although she doesn't feel it's right for her child, Anita Khan says the option of full-day kindergarten should be there and the choice should be left up to parents. We know our children the best, so we know if they're able to even commit to a full day. Some kids that might be a lot to ask of them to do a full day uh, of school. Right now, the Edmonton Catholic and Public School Boards each have full-day kindergarten programs at 23 sites. The boards foot the bill. The provincial government had promised to fund the estimated $200 million price tag, but so far, there's been no solid commitment. A statement from Alberta Education says staff are still looking for a way to bring in the funding, adding implementation timelines and further details are currently being determined in conjunction with our partners. We're making sure we take the time to get it right. I think, frankly, you've got a better chance of seeing Elvis perform at Klondike Days next year. The education critic for the Wild Rose says it's another broken promise by the PCs. They've broken just about every promise they made in education. They knocked on your door, uh, promised to build 50 new schools, promised all day kindergarten, promised the moon and the stars, and they've delivered nothing. As for the Khan family, they'll let who pays continue to be debated on top of the hill. Their focus now is soaking up the sunshine and the last few days before little Grace goes to class. Quinn Oler, Global News. And tonight we reached out to the three PC leadership candidates about what their plans are for full day kindergarten funding if they were to be elected. Former Minister of Advanced Education, Minister Thomas Lukasik, says he supports the idea. There are simply existing schools that are at full capacity and adding an extra grade level is difficult, but that should not be a barrier for us to try to find uh, creative ways of accommodating that. Uh, and, and, and I am committing to do so. At the end of the day, uh, those are logistical issues uh, that, that can be resolved. Uh, we, we are here talking about educational future of our children and uh, no effort should be spared. Jim Prentice was not available for comment tonight, but we were sent a copy of his platform regarding education. There is no mention of full day kindergarten in it. Rick McIver was also not available for comment. In its push for a public inquiry into government spending, the Wild Rose is now taking direct aim at PC leadership candidate Jim Prentice. The party presented several quotes given by Prentice nine years ago when he was pushing the federal Liberal government to hold a proper inquiry into the sponsorship scandal. The Wild Rose says Prentice should be demanding the same accountability for Albertans into the affairs of the PC government. I challenge Jim Prentice to look within himself find that champion of accountability and give Albertans what he's fought so hard to give Canadians, real accountability through a public inquiry. I think the Auditor General has uh, got to the bottom of it. I mean, they provided a pretty comprehensive report. They've made a, you know, recommendations of what needs to be done. It's been referred to the RSMP, and I think that's exactly what Albertans expect. Prentice says this situation doesn't compare to the sponsorship scandal because he believes it's limited to former Premier Alison Redford's office. But if a public inquiry were to be called, it would cost several million dollars. Tonight, our provincial affairs reporter Tom Vernon explores whether that approach is worth it. Signed by a Texan by the name of George Bush. It's one of the most famous political investigations this country has ever held. The Gomery Inquiry uncovered an elaborate sponsorship scheme within the federal Liberal Party and led to criminal charges. It generated exactly the type of headlines the opposition would like to see here in Alberta with the PC party. Well, I believe Albertans want to know now. The entitlements have gone on for so long. The Wild Rose and NDP have each called for a public inquiry into the spending habits of the PC government. It stems from the Auditor General's report that found former Premier Alison Redford improperly used government aircraft. An Ottawa lawyer who's been involved in six inquiries says they do have their merits. If the government seems to be the source of the problem and then it ends up in, um, 
conducting its own inquiry, it, it appears to be investigating itself. And of course, that doesn't give uh, the public a lot of confidence. Eugene Oscapella was the editor in chief for the Alberta it Health Services Preferential Access Inquiry released last year. It found cases of Q jumping, but not to the extent that had been alleged. That inquiry cost $7 million. Oscapella says it's up to Albertans to decide whether that was worth the cost. Is it worth that to, to try to ensure public confidence in the publicly funded health care system? Um, I think a lot of people might say yes, but at the end of the day, that's not a big price to pay. Toll says the PCs may be hiding behind the potential cost of another inquiry, but she believes what it might turn up would be worth every penny. So we already know there's wrongdoing. The public inquiry would be able to take that one step further. Tom Vernon, Global News. The Alberta Liberals would like to see the Auditor General launch an expanded audit. And we want to know what you think. Should the province call a public inquiry to have your say? You can go to globalnews.ca slash Edmonton and you can vote in our poll. Some tense moments for four people traveling in a helicopter.